On the 28th of February, 1547, inside of his bedchamber in the Palace of Whitehall, King Henry VIII died. It was a solemn and calm death when contrasted with the chaos and brutality of King Henry's reign, in which some of his closest friends were executed upon his request. Henry would also execute Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard, two of his own wives, as he grew tired of them, and his fifth wife would allegedly cheat on him. But the king, despite being known for his grotesque size, was, when he was a young man, a handsome and sporty prince. Henry grew large in the years following his jousting accident which almost killed him and knocked him out, but following his death it took 16 strong yeomen of the guard to carry his coffin when it was normal for six to do the job. But there was a bizarre story that emerged following the king's death, and this was that his body allegedly exploded whilst the coffin was resting at Sion Abbey before it made its way to Windsor. But what is the story of the exploding corpse of King Henry VIII? On the 28th of January 1547, Henry VIII died, and his death was peaceful, and he was surrounded by the Archbishop of Canterbury, Thomas Cranmer. As Henry slipped in and out of consciousness, he would recognise his actions during his lifetime, and he would realise that he had sinned a great deal with the executions he had ordered throughout his kingdom. It's not known for certain what killed the infamous Tudor monarch, but following his death, the body was washed inside of his chambers and it was also embalmed. During the Tudor period, this was done to make sure that the body was in a good state and was not decaying quickly. During the following century, Oliver Cromwell's body was actually buried secretly very quickly because of the speed in which decay set into his corpse. The embalming of Henry VIII was standard and he was cut open, and his vital organs, such as his heart, was removed and then placed inside a casket and other vessels to be buried elsewhere or preserved away from the body. The king's cavity was then stuffed with spices and sawdust to keep it from rotting quickly and smelling. Then his body was secured inside of a lead casket before it was then placed inside of the wooden coffin. The lead-lined coffin would hopefully protect Henry's body from rotting too much, and throughout the centuries there are accounts of many medieval kings being actually preserved very well. It's believed that Henry would have also been wrapped in a seer cloth, which was a heavy cloth dipped in wax to further keep away rot. Henry VIII had stated that he wanted to be buried alongside his third wife, Jane Seymour, inside of St George's Chapel in Windsor, and Jane had died following giving birth to Henry's heir and son, Edward VI, and then he had her buried in the quiet vault, underneath the choir, inside of the chapel. Henry wanted to be placed in this vault, and then at some point later, he wanted to be moved, as he would commission a huge tomb to be made decades after his death, and he wanted this memorial to be bigger than his mother and father's, and this, it's presumed, would hold the remains of Henry VIII, and Jane Seymour at the heart of English worship. But this would never happen, and still today, five centuries after his death, Henry lives in the same vault with no decoration, except for a marble slab. But the story regarding the king's coffin allegedly exploding relates specifically to the funeral procession of King Henry VIII. The coffin of the king, following the death and embalming, began its huge procession from Whitehall Palace to Windsor Castle, and the procession was colossal and was four miles long. Some roads in Windsor had to be actually widened to allow this to take place, and for anyone witnessing this spectacle, it would have been something they had never seen, but probably would also never forget. The hearse carrying Henry VIII's coffin was draped in black cloth and was pulled by four horses. On top of the coffin was a wax effigy of the king wearing his faint clothes and covered in jewels and this was for many people the first time they'd ever seen an image of the king as pictures and portraits were not readily available and only the rich owned these. But the funeral procession moved out of London and the capital and it continued towards Windsor. But because of the length of the procession and the time in which the journey took, a plan was made to stop at Sion Abbey. This was to make sure that the coffin rested overnight and was protected. 
but also so the guards and animals involved in the procession could rest up. Twelve years before the king's death in 1535, a Franciscan friar named William Pato had preached before Henry VIII at Greenwich Palace that God's judgment were ready to fall upon his head and that dogs would lick his blood as they had done to Ahab, and Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God than all the kings that went before him. With this, he made a prophecy that the king's remains would be eaten and licked at by dogs. But did the king's body explode? Because of the expulsion of gases from the body after death, it is possible that this did occur, and it was said that in the dead of the night that the coffin of Henry VIII began to leak, and that the next morning it was found that a stray dog had got into the chapel and was then licking up the leaking matter from the coffin holding Henry VIII. Some claimed that the mess had leaked onto the floor of the abbey and that it was said that this happened because of the king's size. It's believed that the coffin may have even splintered because of this. His daughter, Elizabeth I, following her death, would also experienced this as her explosion allegedly even broke off part of the wooden coffin. This is possible and modern morticians even admit that the gases of decomposition can blow open a modern sealed coffin meaning that this was possible. But this also happened with William the Conqueror's remains as the Norman king was also very overweight. One Victorian writer would state The king being carried to Windsor to be buried stood all night among the broken walls of Sion, and there the leaden coffin, being cleft by the shaking of the carriage, the pavement of the church was wetted with Henry's blood. The morning came plumbers to solder the coffin, under whose feet I tremble while I write it, was suddenly seen a dog creeping and licking up the king's blood. If you ask me how I know this, I answer, William Greville who scarcely drive away the dog, told me, and so did the plumbers also. The source for this story of Henry VIII exploding comes mostly from a man named Gilbert Burnet, who was a 17th century Scottish writer, and he was also later made the Bishop of Salisbury, and he wrote of this in his book, The History of the Reformation of the Church of England. He has been stated to have been exaggerating possibly, So it may not have been true, but it has become a piece of English folklore where it has been accepted as a historical fact. Following this, the king may have been transferred in his coffin, but there are little historical records of this, and it's unlikely that the king had a spare coffin, as his was most probably made for him years before his death. But regardless, the funeral procession went on towards Windsor Castle and St George's Chapel, and the coffin was, as mentioned, carried into the church by 16 strong yeomen of the guard. The funeral service took place and the coffin was lowered into the vault, and the officers of Henry's household broke their ceremonial staves of office and threw them in after the coffin. Today, Henry VIII lies under a marble slab that reads, In a vault beneath this marble slab are deposited the remains of Jane Seymour, Queen of King Henry VIII, 1537. King Henry VIII, 1547, Charles I, 1648, and an infant child of Queen Anne. This memorial was placed here by command of King William IV, 1837. Henry's burial vault would be broken into a number of times throughout the years to inter the remains of others. However, the story as to whether Henry VIII exploded or not is not completely solved. It's very much possible that his remains did explode and did leak onto the floor of the abbey, as this could have occurred as the gases after death were expelled from his body, especially after the movement inside of the coffin of the body on the procession, and it's possible that the king's body may have already been leaking before the funeral procession began also. It's also believed that the plumbers may have shored up the coffin following the explosion, but also it could be exaggerated based on the prophecy that the priest had previously made about him. Nevertheless, stories like this make King Henry VIII the notorious and feared Tudor monarch that he has become one of the most captivating men in English history. It's for stories like this which we are so interested in his life. Thank you for watching and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.